Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your location sports update. Hey Cavalier sports fans and welcome to Sports on Location. I'm Ryan Braun. And I'm Allie Stein. Thanks for joining us. Four of Cabrini's spring season coaches have been named Coach of the Year in their respective sport. Men's lacrosse coach Steve Colfer, women's lacrosse coach Jackie Neary, golf coach Dr. Tony Verdi, and tennis coach Stephen Parker. Colfer, Neary, and Verdi are incredibly decorated as this is Colfer's 11th time achieving the honor, Neary's 12th, and in his final season, Coach Verdi receives the honor for the third time while this is Parker's second time receiving the honor. Cabrini's golf team reached a monumental mark on Saturday, April 29th. The Cavaliers claimed their fifth Colonial States Athletic Conference title and their first since 2014. The Cavs posted a two-day score of 611, topping Rosemont, Marywood, Immaculata, and Newman, who were all in the top five. Individually, three golfers finished in the top five, including sophomore Dave Gall, who posted a two-day score of 148. The Cavaliers will now head to Florida later this month as they have secured the league's automatic bid to the 2017 NCAA championship. 54 Cabrini student-athletes were recognized with all CSAC honors. The pack was led by softball third baseman Lindsey Savar, men's lacrosse midfielder Evan Downey, women's lacrosse midfielder Avery Murphy, and men's tennis player Elijah Broadnax, who were all named CSAC Player of the Year for their respective sports. Freshman men's lacrosse player Jake Klein was named CSAC Rookie of the Year. The women's rowing team also had two representatives on the Mid-Atlantic Rowing All-Conference First Teams. Congratulations to every student athlete on their incredible seasons. On Saturday, May 6th, the Cabrini men's lacrosse team will look to claim their 17th consecutive Colonial States Athletic Conference title with a game against Marywood University. Head coach Steve Colfer and the Cavaliers have had a very successful season, topping highly ranked teams including Salisbury and Stevenson. Over the week of April 23rd to April 29th, the Cavaliers moved up to the number nine spot in the U.S. Intercollegiate Lacrosse Association poll and will look to continue their success in the NCAA tournament. And leading that success for Cabrini has been a sophomore who has stepped up and made a big impact. Our own Brian Nessel and Angelina Miller have more. The Cabrini men's lacrosse team is in sort of a transition year, combining a plethora of new faces and dealing with multiple injuries. But although two senior captains lead the way, it's been the sophomore that has helped take a leadership role on a young team. We all know that everyone needs to be a captain on the team. Everyone needs to have a, a role that they need to fulfill. Jordan Krug has learned his role. Though just a sophomore, Krug has emerged as one of the leaders on a young Cavalier squad. And this year coming in, we knew we were going to be lower, having kids leave, um, and not as many seniors and upperclassmen. So I think all around the board, everyone needed to step up a little bit. Krug led the way for Cabrini with 42 goals and 34 assists in 2016, but learned last year that there's more to being on a team than just scoring goals. Last year we weren't really the voices and the leadership, so we've, uh, we're working through it, we're working together. I think this year it's got to be more of a team thing, more than you know just the captains. Although Cabrini has 17 freshmen on their roster, Krug knows having a lot of youth will pay dividends in the future. We have such youth leadership and youth experience where it's going to help us, you know, in a year or two um, come down the line when all the younger kids are the older kids. And like any true leader, Krug's ultimate goal is to lead the Cavaliers to their program's first ever national championship. Career goal, I mean, I think just simply to win a national championship. Um, I think that's one of the reasons I really came here because I knew, you know, Cabrini was such a top team in D3 where and I could have went low D1 and it went 50-50 every year, you know, trying to fight for a conference game, you know, playing in the championship or not even the championship, just in the playoffs. Um, knowing, you know, here at Cabrini, we got such good talent and we play such good uh, teams. Really think we have the opportunity to take that next step and go to the Final Four and go play in Philly in the uh, Lincoln Financial Field, and that's my goal. To follow along with Krug and the Cavaliers, stay tuned to CabriniAthletics.com. Don't forget to follow us on all social media. And for Low Quarter Sports, I'm Ryan Braun. And I'm Allie Stein. Have a great summer, Cabrini.